Hello everyone. Today, I would like to share with you how to configure the Microtic Hop Axe Squared router step by step. In this video, we'll go through the basic setup, including setting the router identity, configuring the WAN and LAN interfaces, setting up the Wi Fi network for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, creating a DHCP server, and enabling internet sharing. NAT. This tutorial is perfect for beginners who just bought the Microtic Hap Axe Squared and want to get it running quickly. I'll also show you how to secure your router by changing the admin password and disabling unused services. By the end of this video, your Microtic Hop Axe Squared will be ready to connect your devices and share internet safely and efficiently. So let's get started. First, connect your Microtic Hop Axe Squared router to your computer using a LAN cable. Plug the cable from your PC into Ether2 or any LAN port. Next. Next, open Winbox and click Neighbors. Your router should appear there. Log in with username, admin, password. You can check on document that introduce about Mictotic. Click Connect to log in. Step 2. Set a friendly name for the router and change the default admin password to secure the device. Paste these commands in terminal. System identity set gives the router a friendly name visible in Winbox. Helpful when managing multiple devices. User set dot 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 password replaces the blank default admin password. Always change the default password to prevent unauthorized access. Use a strong unique password and don't show it on camera. Use placeholders or blur. Test login username and password that you was created. And then assign IP address to bridge and make sure bridge and port you is created and enable all port. Note port ether1 does not enable it because port for internet in. Step 5. Create a DHCP pool that hands out addresses from 192.168.10.2 to 0.254. Step 6. Set DNS to Google's public DNS and allow remote requests so LAN clients can resolve names through the router. Sets the router to use Google DNS 8.8.8 .8 for resolving domain names. Allow dash remote dash requests equals yes lets LAN devices query DNS through the router they receive router as DNS in DHCP. Why? Ensures clients can resolve website names to IPs. You can substitute another DNS if preferred. Step 7. Create the DHCP server using the pool and define the network settings. The DHCP server uses the DHCP underscore pool to lease addresses and tells clients their gateway and DNS. Network entry specifies subnet, gateway, and DNS that will be given to clients. Why? So devices automatically receive IP, gateway, and DNS settings. No manual config on each PC, phone. Step 8. Enable NAT so LAN devices can access the internet through the WAN-A. 
NAT masquerade rewrites source addresses of LAN packets to the router's one IP so replies return properly. Why? Without NAT, multiple LAN devices with private IPs can't share a single public NIP. This is default firewall rules. You can set four firewall rules this basic role lose. Rule 1. Accept packets that are part of established or related connections, necessary for normal traffic. Rule 2. Allow management, Wimbox, SSH from the LAN so you can still access the router. Rule 3. Allow ping, ICMP so you can test connectivity. Rule 4. Drop all other input to the router from unknown sources, protects router itself. Why? Basic security to block unwanted access while allowing normal operations. Order matters. Rules processed to top to bottom. Step 9. DHCP client on Ether1. He DHCP client on Ether1 requests an IP from your ISP or upstream router. Use peer DNS equals no means the router will keep the DNS you configured, 8.88. Set yes if you prefer the ISP DNS. Why? Needed if your internet link gives IP dynamically. The router must obtain a 1 IP to route internet traffic. Tests whether the router can reach the internet. Successful replies confirm one connectivity. Why? Quick verification the upstream is reachable before testing client devices. Checks and downloads the latest router OS packages and upgrades the router BOARD firmware. A reboot is required to apply updates, backup config first. Why? Keeps the router secure and stable with fixes and improvements. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's all. Your Macrotic Hopback Squared is now configured with LAN IP 192.168.10.1, DHCP, DNS, NAT, firewall protection, and updated firmware. If this tutorial helped you, please like, subscribe, and leave questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want, I can next. Convert these spoken lines into an SRT subtitle file for your video editor. Produce a one-page printable cheat sheet opening parenthesis dot PDF with only the commands. Add Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, configuration steps, SSID, security profile, and explain those as well.